Salutations, everyone. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 3. I'm Lord Forund. We are here as Thranduil, the Wood King of the Elves, or also called the Elven King. Um, which is kind of odd, but I guess he's the only Elven King left in Middle-earth at this point. So, um, like, uh, our Elrond is not, Sirden is not, and these guys over here are never mentioned in the books. So... We are the last elf king. After Gilgalad sadly died. So, we are in the process of completing the colonies that we established at the beginning of last episode. Then we will deal with expanding further south. I'm thinking as great as it would be to gain the power to... Oh, look at this. He's losing against Grim Bayorn. Oh, nice. Um... Wait, is he no longer protected by Sauron? He's no longer protected by Sauron. Oh, but we have... Could we go straight for Dual Guldur? We can. Okay. Straight to Dual Guldur we go. If we can take that, the um, power of Dual Guldur will be absolutely shattered. At which point we don't have to worry about Galadriel sneaking in and stealing our rightful territory. Um... No frustration there at all. Never had problems with Galadriel sniping lands I wanted. Oh, don't, 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 don't attack. What is... Oh, it's because I would be hostile to Grimbeorn. Grimbeorn. Okay, let him deal with that mess. We will focus on sieging other things. And apparently he will attack us regardless and get crushed. Awesome. The problem is the woodmen are still tribal, so they can't really siege quickly. We can, because we got trebuchets. Which, for some reason, I don't feel Thranduil should have. But, uh, for some reason I feel like he should have something else. Did they end the war? No. 85. Okay. Are they going to go back? I really don't want to fight them. Which is why I'm kind of hiding here in the corner of the forest. We will probably win this fight. So we're going to keep fighting it. Okay. Grimbjorn won. So, let's focus some more troops and go straight for his capital. That is the war goal. All we have to do is win this fight. Or siege it down. Toe the line. Okay. Honestly, I don't think we need administrator. So, let's flip over to something else. Um... Let's do strategy focus in case we have to fight some battles. No, we're not paying for that, but we are winning this battle. Barring him attacking us like 80 more times, we are definitely going to win this war, which will be honestly the fastest I've ever taken out Dul Godor. We got a Marshall perk. Nice. CB costs 50% cheaper. That will make it significantly easier to subdue the Greenwood. And once again, they commit suicide into my army. Okay, 82% and we stole his house banner. Just to add insult to injury. All we need to do is probably win either another battle or another siege. And we are done. Another siege. Two sieges, apparently. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. We are right on the line of actually starting to lose battles. So I gotta be careful of that. Speaking of battles and stuff, I imagine this is... Yep, three dev. Let's flip this over to the next one. 
Turn this into an Elven Settlement. Throw it at a random courtier. I can just imagine Thranduil throwing a uh, scroll at someone's head saying, Congratulations, you're now Lord of a Territory. There we go. We have now taken Dual Guldur. Dun, 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 dun. That is a big win. I'm on the long. Okay, so we need 500 to rebuild it. And we also have a lot of territory I can't hold. So let's grant that away. Who, again, any courtier standing nearby at the moment when we get the title. Okay, so Dual Guldur should be permanently weakened. We need 600. And we actually need another level of fame before we can start rampaging through Southern Mirkwood. The return of the king. Aragorn has been proclaimed king of Gondor, high king of the Dúnedain in exile, lord of the west. He bears Endul, Narsil reforged. Of course, if it's reforged, it looks nothing like the original, probably. So, seems unusual that they would recognize a sword that's been reforged, but you never know. Anyhow, we have... We've almost won the whole Let's Play in the first two episodes. Um, I'll keep going, obviously, but still. That's the fastest I've managed to destroy Dual Guldur. And it's not destroyed, it's just massively crippled. Let's flip this to an Elven Quarry. This will be one of our more developed settlements in the long run. Free buildings if we upgrade it. Or free dev if we upgrade it. Totally worth it. And we're still doing that. We have now discovered banking, which is awesome. Now we're after rightful ownership. Which would allow uh, cheaper CBs. Yeah, I guess that's worth it. Upgrade that. We still need 500. So I should probably not keep spending money. I'm surprised that um, Sauron stopped defending Dul Guldur. I'm going to guess it was due to being called into a war by Dul Guldur while fighting Gondor. Um, although apparently Aragorn is still calling himself King of Arnor at the moment. Grimbeorn is expanding massively. Look at that. The problem is, I believe he's still tribal. He really needs to feudalize fairly quickly. Okay. We didn't get a perk. That's unfortunate. Our war with Dulgodur can take place in three more years. Okay. And we need to become illustrious, so we need another 600 prestige. Huh. I hope Legolas isn't... Toriel is a spy amateur. Interesting. Fascinating ideas on diplomacy, new martial perk, always good. Siege weapon effectiveness is almost unmatched as an upgrade. Defensive alliance. Reject that. Um, simple stone quarries. Oh, we should station men at arms. I guess I'll stick this in Amon Lonk. Uh, we're done that. I need five. I'm going to try and uh, upgrade it before we start building stuff there. Oh, little court. Release the orc when he betrays his comrades. 
steward will give advice. Settle that problem. Legloss wanted my spy master fi or somebody fired. Toriel's an idiot when it comes to spy mastering, apparently. Which is too bad. A new artifact. Oh yes, the banner we stole from the Guldur. We'll just randomly stick a banner with the Eye of Sauron on our wall. Because it makes complete sense for the elves to fly Sauron's banners. If anything, we should have automatically burnt it. And Amonlock is being upgraded once more. Awesome. So. We still need to reclaim land from Bjornings and land from these guys. There's no particular rush at the moment because I don't know if I don't think Galadriel can attack Dul Guldur now that we own Dul Guldur. We'll rebuild the colony. Okay, let's complete some colonies. This one's done. Granted to actually, do we want to hold on to this? This is a beacon stronghold here. Yes, we will hold on to that. So I am going to give away this useless province to a random person. That's only a one, one. This is a two. That's a three. Good. A little bit more and we're done there. Give that away. In 27 days. Oh, okay. That's now level three. I'm going to hold on to this because if we can upgrade this, again, another free dev province. I love free dev provinces. I just wish we had more of them. Sadly, our capital does not get free dev. Okay, another one done. Granting it away. We need 425 or two more months and then we can take on Dual Guldur. Haha, <laughs> Kamul wants me to face face me in a contest of magical skill. No way. No way are we going to agree to that. Absolutely no way. Okay. We can now attack this guy. Holy War for Duchy. Let's see. He follows the Cults of the Lidless Eye. The only other ones is Sauron, who I don't think would join. Regardless, we'll have to be careful. So. Holy War for Duchy. Let's take out the rest of Dul Guldur. Or rather, take the rest of Dul Guldur. Shouldn't be that hard. As you can see, he's noticeably weakened. Galadriel still isn't bordering him, which helps. We just gotta make sure the Bjornings don't come into this at all. Which, honestly, very unlikely to happen, but... Gotta be aware of it. After all, we'll have to drive them out of our woods at some point. Even though they are colonizing, too. Hmm. Could be a problem. Or not, because they just failed that colony. They got a colony and lost it in like two months. 21 there, and... Oh, one more. Okay. Armarathin? Armarthrin? I have no idea how to say that. The old capital of the elves has been reclaimed. So we've reclaimed both of our wood elf capitals. Military engineer? Yes, please. I think we're leading the army, right? No, our sister's leading the army. Mm. Whatever. Probably safer to not have your ruler leading an army, even though we are elves. Increase supply capacity. 
I don't even see his army. That is weird. Okay. Oh. These guys, for some reason, are attacking me. With 5,000 troops and aid from the Dalemen. Wow. Well, they'll regret that. As soon as I win this war, they will deeply regret annoying wood elves. Let's see. What would Thranduil say? Faithless men, servants of evil, traitors to the old alliances, something like that. Oh, speaking of uh, stuff to do, I should probably increase my crown authority so my subjects don't spend all their time fighting each other. Because Legolas is now... <laughs> Legolas is now the servant of his wife. <laughs> He's married to his overlord, or overlady in this case. Um, oh, she probably has no problem with it's just funny that she's managed to subdue her husband. Because I think she was the lesser of the two, so she must have fought and won a war against him? I don't know. Whatever. Amonlock has been restored. We are butchering all the woodsmen who dared attack us. That was pathetic. Gotta say, that was really pathetic. Um, victory is there. That is upgraded. Let's finish off some of our other colonies up north. As I imagine they are getting fairly close. That one's done. Go over here. Utilize. Throw it at a random person's head. Okay, we have too many territories. Fair enough. Let's grant this away to somebody. Let's grant this away to somebody. Let's grant this one away to someone completely different. And this is a tribe, so we are going to actually... Oh. Hmm. Let's grant this one away so I can hold on to the tribe till I can convert it to an elven settlement. That's a two. That's a one. Headed towards two. Okay. Okay. Don't question my decisions, sister. Now we can declare war for homeland reclamation. Dun, da, da. You just declared war on us, so this is fair play. You know, I do like Crusader Kings 3 and how some of its stuff is simulated. What I don't like is that winning a defensive war gets you only resources. It's like... Can't I claim the land right next to where the war I won? In that sense, I would have preferred an EU4 or even like a Stellaris peace system. Stellaris, I think, would have been good. You take what land you own at the end of the war. Or maybe EU4 might be more useful. I don't know. I just find it a little odd that I can win a war against, say, Sauron as Gondor, and I don't get any land. I just get a small amount of money. Very strange. Um, that is a two. Okay. Um, we can start upgrading this again, though. Elven Market. Loving myself the free dev that will be coming in. We will rapidly overrun this fort. And rapidly crush the human army. We are not as good as, say, Elrond's Noldor troops, but we are still very powerful. So I'm actually going to do something I wouldn't normally do. We're going to give this to people of the local culture and our faith. Which, of course, is a little odd that we have non-elves following our religion. The benefit of this is then we can always use our convert to elven holding option to flip it back under our elven rule. Rightful elven rule. Let's not mistake that. We are the elves. This is our land. There will be no human lords left when we're done. Uh, apparently I'm being attacked again. Sponsored conquest. Interesting. That's annoying. 
it's never gonna make a difference, but still, it's annoying. Um, get a building going here, foresters. Galbreth. <laughs> okay, easy overrun here, and we've got a war axe, not that we need it, so let's trash that. Let's just equip everything else first. 80 gold. That was a worthwhile siege. Stroll in. <clears throat> Steal. <clears throat> Excuse me. Steal the guy's war axe and we can turn in 80 gold. The sad fact is, even if we win the defensive war, we only get 60 gold. So by stealing his war hammer and destroying it, we make more money than we would have, than we will do by winning a war. Seriously, the economy in this game, the base game, not the mod, the mod is pretty decent, needs a heavy rework. The numbers don't make sense. Okay, so let's get our revenge. You attack us, we attack you, we cannot because I don't have enough prestige. Okay, let's wait a month or two and then we'll attack. Well, more like 20 or 30 months. Mm -hmm. The power of faith. Interesting. Strong permanent garrison. Bustling colony complete. Still need dev up there, though. Ransom, always nice. I'm actually tempted to expand my control to this area up here. What do you guys think of that, I wonder? I think I should rule these areas, even though they are not elven homelands. Revenge against the dragons, revenge against some wild wolves. It looks better on a map. That's my logic here. It looks much better on a map to control the northern part rather than having it empty. You know what would be a really cool mechanic for this mod? Although I, I doubt they would ever do it. It would be to allow the elves, when they change a territory to an elven settlement, also convert it to like a forest. It would be quite interesting. We'll get a cat. We'll visit court. Uh, not worth losing artifacts. We won't accept the feast. And now apparently we need higher because we've expanded so much. So lavish. We can't get to ten. I don't think. Oh, well, we can, but ow. 275 more gold a month. That's expensive. Okay. So. We need more prestige. Hmm. There's no easy way to get it quickly. <laughs> 20 months and then we attack. Probably. Or we could just do a holy war, a holy war, and take it, but we don't have enough piety. Hmm. Oh well, it's nice that we can do holy wars. Um, that is not something we should should be able to do um, without the change I did for the mod to allow us to do other stuff. Um, normally, that would be limited. Apparently, I've made a promise to find somebody, a, a husband or a wife, this lady. So, arrange courtship with... This guy's a woodsman. With this guy. Would not accept. Because she's lowborn. Okay. So, arrange courtship between her and bodyguard. Sure, let's try that. I don't know why we're playing matchmaker as Thranduil, but we are. 
Anyhow, that will be it for this episode. I'm going to guess at this rate, we're only going to have like two or three more episodes till we reunite the Greenwood. So this might actually be a short series. Um, I'm almost definitely going to take a break from Lord of the Rings mods afterwards. Probably wander into like God Herja or something. Check that one out again. Um, but then I'll be back when there's more updates and stuff. Maybe we'll do something in like Rune is the next Let's Play. Anyhow, see you guys next episode. Bye for now.